Okay, use the triangle at right to find exact values. So this is just using our definitions of SOHCAHTOA and then also the reciprocal function. So cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is 4 fifths. Cosine of B is adjacent over hypotenuse to B, which is 3 fifths. Tangent of A is opposite over adjacent, which is 3 fourths. Tangent of B is opposite over adjacent, which is 4 thirds. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So if tangent is opposite over adjacent, then cotangent is adjacent over opposite. So this is 3 fourths. The secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So if cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, then this has to be hypotenuse, which is 5 over adjacent. And then the cosecant of A is the reciprocal of the sine of A. The sine of A is 3 fifths, so this has to be 5 thirds. And the sine of B is 4 fifths. So make sure you can list out those ratios. In triangle DEF, angle D is a right angle. Find the remaining sides and angles. Round the nearest tenth. So, what you want to do is you want to draw a right triangle, D, E, F, or D is the right angle. It doesn't matter where you put F and E, but um, you want to make sure that D is the, has a 90. And then <clears throat> the lowercase letter always goes opposite of the angle. So this is lowercase E, this is lowercase F, and this is lowercase D. So we know that lowercase, this side length is 15, because it's talking about side length. This side length, F, is 8. So to do, to get this side, because we want to get all the sides and angles, we could do 15 squared plus 8 squared equals D squared. And we get about 17.0. And then, so D is about 17.0. Then we need to get an angle measure. So what to find angle E, we could do tangent inverse. We could do the tangent inverse of 15 ace. Because opposite over adjacent. So when we get approximately 28.1 degrees. Now you could either, you could do tangent inverse to figure out this side. Or you could do just take 90 and subtract 28.1. So this is 61.9 because these three triangle angles have to add up to 180. I wouldn't use, if I'm doing, I would use tangent and I wouldn't use this because we rounded this number. So I'd want to use the numbers that we know that are exact. Okay, number 10. So again, I'm going to draw the right triangle. The right angle is D. So this side has to be 2, and then F, opposite F is 1, and then this has to be E. So to figure out this side length, we could do A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we get the square root of 3. And then I can use tangent inverse to get this angle, which is 30 degrees exactly, in the sense to be 60 degrees because all three of these triangles, angles in the triangle add up to 180. So you this works because this is a 30, 60, 90 and remember the short side is half the hypotenuse and the long side is the short side times root 3. So everything makes sense in that one. And then number 11, I'm going to do D, E, F, Label E, opposite the E angle is 6, the hypotenuse is 12. So I do the Pythagorean theorem, and I get this is about 10.4. Um, and then I want to use when I'm, um, again, I guess I have a 30, 60, 90, because I have the short side 6, and the hypotenuse is 12, so this must be 6 root 3. So this is opposite, this has to be 60, and this has to be 30.
Okay, number 12. Suppose you are standing on a one bank of a river, a tree, so you're over here. You're a tree on the other side of the river is known to be 150 feet tall. A line from the top of the tree to the ground at your feet makes a makes an 11 degree angle with the ground. How far are you from the base? How far from from you is the base of the tree? So you're trying to find x. So which trig function should you use? Well, we have the opposite and we have the adjacent. So I'm going to use the tangent. So I do the tangent of 11 degrees equals opposite, which is 150 over x, which is, a, which is <clears throat> my adjacent. So in order to solve for x, I need to get x out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x and divide by the tangent of 11. So x equals 150 divided by the tangent of 11, which is approximately 772 feet. Okay, 13. In triangle KMN, N is a right angle. So draw KMN. K, M, N. N is a right angle, and lowercase m is 7, lowercase n is 25. Find angle K. So which trig function would you use to find this angle? Well, you have the adjacent, and you want to know the hypotenuse. So that's cosine. So you do the cosine of angle K equals 7 over 25. So in order to figure out the angle, you need to get out your calculator, make sure you're in degree mode. Okay, the reason that you're in degree mode is because they're asking for the nearest degree. So you do cosine inverse of 7 25ths and you get roughly 73.7. And then next one, DEF is a right angle. D E, F, and the tangent of E is 3 fourths. So the tangent of E is 3 fourths. So opposite is 3 and adjacent is 4. Draw a diagram to find sine of E and secant of E in fraction form. So I know a 3, 4, 5 makes a right triangle, so this hypotenuse has to be a 5. So the sine of E has to be opposite over hypotenuse, so that is 3 fifths. The secant of F is going to be the um, hypotenuse over adjacent, because secant of F is the reciprocal of cosine, so secant of F has to be the adjacent of F divided by the hypotenuse. Well, I'm sorry, this is the cosine, so the secant has to be the other way around. So secant has to be the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent. So go to F, what's the hypotenuse? 5, what's the adjacent? 3, so here's your answer. And then number 15, we did those on the previous page. And then 21 through um, 24, you want to have your calculator in degree mode. And you just put these in your calculator. Sin sine inverse is exactly 45 degrees. That's an angle. That's an angle of sine of root 2 over 2. The cosine inverse of 0.5 is exactly 60 degrees. The tangent inverse of root 3 is exactly 60 degrees. And this last one is approximately 18.9 degrees. These are just calculator questions.